Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I have a little bit of a different video for you. Um, as I'm sure everybody knows, there have been a lot of coloring tags going around YouTube. The scavenger hunts and then the Halloween color it tag and um, there was a couple other ones going around and I decided that I wanted to try and create my own coloring tag. Now I've looked on YouTube and I couldn't find anything specifically for the coloring community. So hopefully this hasn't been done yet. Um, if it has, I apologize to whoever it is that created it originally, um, but we're gonna go ahead and go with it. So what it is, and I'm gonna be trying to finish this mandala in the back while we go through it. But what it is, is a colorist first tag. So there are 10 questions and a bonus question. And it's all about things that you tried or did for the first time with your coloring. So the first question is, what is the first coloring book you bought? So I had to, and I mean, when you took this up as a hobby i don't mean like you know you were five years old and your mom or your parents or whoever bought you a coloring book that's not what i mean i mean since you've taken this up as a hobby as an adult what was the first coloring book you bought and so i had to go back into oh no into my amazon purchases because i was buying quite a few around the time that i first started and I was actually surprised to find out that the first one that I bought was the Jasmine Beckett Griffith Fantasy Adventure Coloring Book. I thought it was something else, but apparently it was not, which is perfectly fine because that is a great book to start with. So that one was mine. The second question is, what is the first supply you bought? Um, again, I was buying kind of a lot of stuff around that time, so I had to look at my Amazon orders. And again, I was surprised to find out that it was actually the Arteza 72 set of fine liners. Why can I not find this pen? So that was the first supply that I had bought. I already had um, colored pencils, but they weren't, they were just Crayola that I had used from years ago. I'm not sure why I decided to have Arteza be the first thing that I bought, or the fine liners, I mean, but that's what it was. All right, so question number three, and this video is probably going to be short because there aren't a lot of questions. Um, question number three is, what is the first non-budget friendly set of colored pencils that you bought? Mine were the Prismas. Now, when I first got the Prismas, I wanted the 150 set. Um, but I had a lot of stuff going on at the time. So I started with, I believe it was the 36 set that I started with. So they weren't super expensive, but the bigger sets of the Prismas, as everybody knows, are not super cheap. Um, so those are the ones that I started with. Question number four is what is the first hardback book you bought? My first hardback book was Hannah Carlson's Magical Dawn. And I remember being so excited because I had a hardcover book. Oh, there's little bats. I didn't even notice the little bats. So that was the first hardback book that I bought. All right, question number five is, who was your first buddy color with? My first buddy color was on Instagram. And it wasn't that long ago, actually. It was this year since 
you know, all this COVID stuff happened, that's when I really started to get into the coloring community. And so my first buddy color was on Instagram with Cindy. And her Instagram name, if you would like to go check her out, is Cindy Cullen 421. All right, number six is first color tube. What is it? First color tube channel you started watching. So I was on YouTube one day. I don't know what I was doing. I don't remember exactly what I was doing on YouTube. But I came across this video. I think it was like a tutorial. And I watched it. And I was like, wow. She colors really, really pretty. And it was... um I'm sorry, I cannot even think of her actual name, but the channel is always coloring. And I think by the time I had found her channel, unfortunately, she had already passed away. And I was really sad because I actually really enjoyed her videos. She seemed like she was a very sweet person and had a bubbly personality. And I was really upset that the videos that were on there were the only ones I was able, able to get to see able that I was going to be able to watch and then I was never going to be able to interact with her but yeah she is the first channel that I watched as far as color tube alright number Seven. And some of these, you, so some of them I'm going to actually show the page. You don't have to, but you can. Um, so number seven is the first page you colored. It's a hot mess. This whole book is a hot mess, actually. But this is my first page that I completed when I first started coloring. And it is in the Tokidoki coloring book. So that one is mine. Number eight is what was your first portrait picture you colored? Mine was, at least I think this is a portrait picture. I hope so. But mine was this one here. Oh my God. What is that mark from? This is in Jasmine Beckett Griffith's Halloween coloring book, and it is Milagros Corazon, or that's the name of the painting. And this is the girl. She has a bunch of metallic gel pens on her. So that's my first portrait one. And then number nine is, what was your first grayscale picture you ever colored? And mine was this one in Benny Blue. And it was the Easter one. Where is it? I did not like how it came out. But it was my first one. So I'm going to chalk it up to that. And that's Benny Blue by Christine Karen. Number 10 is... What was your first ever... Com what? Oh my God, I forgot a word. What was your first ever completed book? Um, I have not completed a book yet. I have so many books that I haven't even colored in, which is another video that I will be working on. And I have, I mean, I haven't colored a lot compared to, you know, a lot of other people, but I haven't colored in enough books to finish any of them. Now I do have a few that I'm halfway done with. And so yeah, there's some, probably not this year because this year's pretty much gone already. We're about to hit the holidays guys. But hopefully um, by the summertime, I will have one or two of them completed. All right, and then the bonus question is, what was your first coloring tag you ever participated in? 
Now, that can mean either you were tagged by somebody else or it was a tag that you thought was interesting or fun and decided to go ahead and do it without being tagged beforehand, um, which is what I did. And the first coloring tag that I ever did was the top five books in quarantine tag. Because like I said, I just barely started getting into the coloring community really um, the beginning of this year when they told me that I couldn't leave my house for a month. All right, so that is all of them. As you can see, it's not a lot of questions. It's pretty short. Um, but uh, hopefully it's something that people will be interested in doing. Take a little trip down memory lane. It may be, you know, years back for you or not that far back, depending on how long you've been coloring and in the community. Um, so the people that I want to tag are Lavella's Coloring, Sabrina's Twist of Color, Ashley's Coloring Creations, Adult Coloring for UFOs, and T's World of Adult Coloring. So hopefully you ladies will be interested in doing the video and can go ahead and do that. And um, tag me in it because I would like to see everyone else's videos to see and hear what their first books were and their body colors and all that fun stuff. I think I just went out the line. Oh, well, it's clear anyway. And that is all for now. Please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.